What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video I have great news. For those of you who are still running iOS 10.x, no matter what version of iOS 10, on your 64-bit device, a new Jailbreak Me has been released. Now, Jailbreak Me's are pretty much jailbreaks from Safari. So you pretty much access a website and you can jailbreak directly from that without the involvement of any IPA and stuff like that. And this pretty much works with the jailbreaks for the iOS 10. Jake Blair has posted just a couple hours ago here on Twitter, quote, anyone fancy a JB me for iOS 10.x? And he posts the link for it, which is totally not.spyware.lol. And yes, this is the address to which you have to navigate in order to, you know, jailbreak. You have to go to that address in your Safari on your iOS 10 device. So this is pretty much like the um, jailbreak me from back in the days when you pretty much go ahead on the website and you would jailbreak. And it's similar to the GB me for iOS 9.x with Pangu, but this one is for the iOS 10.x jailbreaks. You he also posted in here, quote, the GBME should work on all 64-bit iOS 10.x now. If you experience any issues, please send crash logs to pretty much him. So he also posted this full credits for Totally Not Spyware. Apparently, Totally Not Spyware is the name of the jailbreak, which contains pretty much this team members in here, including IB Sparks, which is pretty much the developer of the Meridian jailbreak for iOS 10.x, Saigusa, Stake, and a Little Lalo. So a lot of people worked secretly on this jailbreak. They said absolutely nothing until they released it. So this is something good, no drama, nothing. And of course, it's based on multiple people's work in here for the jailbreak community. So it's pretty much a collective effort. But anyways, it looks pretty much like this. You will not be able to open this from your computer. As you can see, it has a safety method to tell you that you're not running it from a compatible device. But if you run it on a compatible device in Safari, it should look like this. You navigate to the link to totally not.spyware.lol and it will pretty much show you this, which is very similar to the design used by the iOS 4 point something, jailbreak me and so on. So you just have to pretty much slide that thing in there there, and it will trigger the WebKit exploit. And yes, this is compatible with all 64-bit iOS 10.x jailbreaks, which means pretty much this. If you have, for example, Yalu jailbreak, or you have Goblin, or you have Meridian jailbreak, or any other 10.x jailbreak, this will pretty much allow you to ditch the IPA file that you keep on signing every seven days, and you will pretty much be able to navigate to this website. You can, of course, bookmark it in Safari or on your home screen. And instead of using that IPA file and resigning that every seven days, you just go in here and you slide for spyware and that's it, you're going to jailbreak. And no, there is no spyware, it's just a joke for those of you who did not catch it. But anyways, yes, this pretty much allows you to not have an untethered jailbreak on iOS 10.x, but very close to something like that, because now you no longer need CDI Impactor and IPAs and resigning, because the website doesn't expire, and the WebKit exploit is pretty much working with all these jailbreaks that I mentioned. So, quite a good thing in my opinion. Now, of course, if you're running, the Meridian jailbreak is definitely supported out of the box, and Meridian jailbreak supports iOS 10.0 all the way up to iOS 10.3.3, on all 64-bit devices. Now, unfortunately, I will not be able to show you how this jailbreak works. You are going to have to trust me on how it works because I do not have an iOS 10.x device at this point. I do have iOS 10.x devices, but they are on 32-bit and 32-bit devices are not supported. But a 64-bit is pretty much anything newer than the iPhone 5. So iPhone 5s and later. If you have any of these devices and you want to ditch the IPA and the signing every seven days, you can definitely have this one here. The link will be in the description down below and it definitely looks nice. As I said, this is pretty much based on a WebKit exploit, so you don't have to worry about signing and all that gunk. So yeah, thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow. Until next time, peace out.